to your border control. This video is for you. So in case you didn't know, I travel back and forth from Charlotte to Toronto. Charlotte being in the United States of America and Toronto being in Canada. Two completely different countries, obviously, right? I live in the US, my boyfriend lives in Canada, and because of my job, the fact that I am a YouTuber, a public speaker, I write online, it is more feasible for me to be the one who travels back and forth because I, I, I get the privilege of being the one that gets to do the traveling rather than my boyfriend whose job is here and he actually has to go to that place to work. Also, in case you didn't know, if you are brand new to watching me, I am deaf. While I have some residual hearing, it is not enough to be able to fully carry on a conversation. And to be quite honest, going through border control as a deaf person can be a little frightening. Now, obviously, when you go to different countries, you have to cross the border. You have to go through border control, border agents, and answer questions. And the thing about border control is that I respect you guys. I know you have a very tough job and you gotta make sure that nobody doing any funny business or planning any funny business comes, and could, comes into the country. That being said, for the love of all things holy, can we please listen to the deaf person when they come up to you and ask you to write because they are deaf or jester, anything like that. Because what happens is if I come up to you and I say, actually I sign this because voice off tends to be the most efficient way to get hearing people to understand, however, not always. If I come up and I'm like, hi, I'm deaf, could you please just write back and forth? I'm not doing it to make things harder on my end or to make things hard on you. I'm not doing it to purposely make your job go on longer. It is to make sure that both parties understand the question and the answer. I, I cannot begin to explain to you how many times I have been asked something and I don't understand the question and can you imagine if I had said maybe yes to some sort of question that involves like being part of a crime or something? I've seen border control, okay? I've seen all three. So I know the questions that get asked and I don't want anything to happen. I don't want to take any risk um, not being accepted into the country because of a question that I could not understand. One thing that never fails or almost never fails to happen when I say hi, please write, is that the agent will still continue to talk as if anything I just said went in through the eyes and just went whoosh. Or they just ask me if I can read lips. And to be honest, if I could read your lips, I probably would not have asked you to write in the first place. Not only that, if I am voiced off exactly how is that going to help you out? Because if you were to ask me if I read lips, I would sign to you probably and then you wouldn't understand. A couple of my friends have had this issue where they will ask somebody to write or gesture back and forth and they just don't want to accommodate that which just ends up making the job harder for both parties because we, we just want to get in and out we want to help you out and make this as smooth as possible with that being said there are some really great officers that i've come across there have been uh, some decoration officers that will hold up the card and point to the you know whatever like if i'm staying how many days sometimes i would just say it i mean i'll even tell them i will meet with them halfway if you gesture right i will say the answer out loud or I hand just her back, or like I've done most recently, they all, you know, point to stuff or hand gesture and then I will write it down because it is the easiest way to do it. Some have straight up written on the piece of paper, which is actually my, probably my favorite, uh, trip. And of course there have been some officers that when I say hi I'm deaf, if you could just, you know, write back and forth or something, you know, help me out, I help you out. Sometimes they would just look at it and then let me be on my way and we don't even go through the question part. Even more awesome. But yeah, just a tip to the border agents. We're not lying. At least most of us aren't lying. There's probably some that just try to fake and take advantage. But most of us are not lying and, you know, it's still easier to just you know, help us out and go with it. And, you know, I forgot where I was going with the rest of it. I do recall seeing a desk, a section of the desk when you come into the Canadian border where it's like the disabled 
something, but I don't know if they would let me into that line. And I don't know if that would actually make it any easier. I don't really know. Like, would they still go through with the pointing and the writing if I went through there? I don't know. That's just a little thing that I wanted to say out loud or bring out to anyone that may be working at the border. You know, this also just, this is also like, this works for anybody in any career that's like medical, police, fire, you know, that kind of stuff. It's something really, really important. Accommodation is important, makes them go a lot smoother. Thank you. And to the rest of you, if you want to follow me on all my social media, links to that will be down below. If you want to help support my content, you can do so by being a monthly patron on Patreon, or you can leave tips on coffee. Both links will be down below. I upload every Monday and Thursday, and I will see you later. Bye.